Hi, I'm Carrie Kirkham and you're sipping with the Wine Fox. With me today is 2019 Rombauer Carneros Chardonnay. It is 100% Chardonnay from the Carneros AVA, 100% whole cluster pressed, 100% barrel fermented, and 100% malolactic fermentation. Now it's interesting that this wine was fermented and aged in American and French oak barrels for a more complex profile. This particular release was aged nine months in both barrel types, one third of which was new oak. Um, one thing you'll notice with Rombauer is that full mouth feel comes from both malolactic fermentation and a 14.5% uh, alcohol content which presents as both balanced and integrated. So, what's it like? Mm. I'm getting ahead of myself because this truly is the empress of California Chardonnay. It really is. It's defined a whole entire category. And um, I think it's, it's quite lovely. One thing that uh, people don't give Rombauer a credit for is they have small vineyard lots that are kept separate and they blend it before bottling. So there is a lot of care that goes into making this wine. Also, the grapes are harvested at night and hand sorted, which that cool um, night harvesting assures a low, slow, cool primary fermentation. So there's a lot of care that goes into this wine. But again, what's it like? On the nose, I get ripe apricot. Beautiful, like a juicy apricot. I get butterscotch. I get vanilla. I mean, it just smells absolutely intriguing. I want to dive right into it. People refer to this as like cougar crack and stuff like that, but you know what? Don't listen to them. This is a very beautiful, well-made wine, and it really does define a, a category of California Chardonnay. Oh, that's beautiful. And I get a toasty, toasty oak quality. Not planky, but elegant. Okay, on the palate, that's where this gets exciting. Mm. Oh, lush, plush, generous, juicy. I need more. Okay, again, apricot, little bit of um, apple, like a, a fresh, crisp apple. And I get vanilla. I get... Um, like biting into a beautifully perfect piece of toast. God, that's lovely. It's really a, quite a nice wine, but you know what's interesting is it still has these little staccato notes of acidity. So even though it went through full malolactic fermentation, it does maintain acidity. It is not flabby. Beautifully complex. It is big on fruit, rich on texture. Again, big on vanilla spice, sumptuous, buttery, but yet still maintains that acidity. Now, some people may ask, what is malolactic fermentation? And if you're curious about that, stay with me. If you're not, this pretty much concludes my review. So I don't want to keep you after class for stuff that you already know. Mm. But malolactic fermentation, you may hear that term bandied about a bit. Um, the principal acids in wine grapes are tartaric and malic acid. And then there's some citric acid floating around in there and some other acids. But what I'm really talking about are those two acids. But malic acid is like the acid that you find in uh, like a, a green Granny Smith apple, a tart, mouth-watering acid, what happens is this bacteria converts it 
into lactic acid. So you have that malic acid converted into lactic acid. Lactic acid is what you find in butter, yogurt, cheese, you know, dairy products, and that gives it that plush butteriness. Um, and that expression really comes across in Ron Bauer, um, particularly that, that buttery note is uh, the chemical compound is known as diacetyl. Uh, that's the, 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 that buttery taste that comes naturally from malolactic fermentation. Uh, and this is known as the queen of it. And I think it's really enjoyable. Uh, I paired this with an aged Gouda. So if you want a truly mind-blowing experience, pair this with a beautiful aged Gouda and sip the wine and sit back and enjoy all of the flavors, all of the textures. It is a, a real experience that you have to engage in. And uh, that's what Rombauer Chardonnay is all about. I think it's quite lovely. Cheers to the Empress. And again, that is 2019 Rombauer Carnero Chardonnay. And to that, I say, Cheers and carpe uvum.